Hey, it's been a while. Whew. Yeah, it's been a little while. And, eh, haven't been in the greatest shape, you know. Well, this operation clean up my life. So I'm trying to get back to the basics, get back to what I know works, and get back to, you know, living life in general instead of letting life pass me by. Uh, spent a lot of hours doing Netflix and chill and chill and Netflix and ordering out and eating and uh, not doing a whole lot and just it definitely hasn't been going my way uh, done a lot of soul searching uh, figuring things out doing the best I can to get back at it and uh, plus the fact that you know seen a lot of bigger guys where they don't even make it to my age where I'm 42 soon to be 43 and I'm living with my own mortality at risk uh, definitely had a lot of different health ailments hit me so the reality of me no longer being here has been weighing in on me tremendously so, cleaning up my life. Uh, one big thing I started with, and I'm not sure when the last time I've done a video, but uh, on June 4th, I decided to quit drinking. So, I was drinking three to five times a week. It really wasn't getting me anywhere. Uh, they're, you know, not great calories and... I don't have no problem with somebody that does drink it's just wasn't for me I had to stop I did drink one more time on August 23rd it pretty much just reconfirmed that I'm glad I wasn't drinking all that time and I haven't drank since August 23rd so that's a good one good yay me sign uh, I no longer have my gym membership I do plan on getting one again I don't know if I'm gonna go the same one or a different one I just had a lot of other ailments where uh, my knees real bad and um, I had diverticulitis act up I had uh, you know blood pressures going through the roof I'm getting that under control uh, had very little money to do anything and my uh, knees has been bothering me real bad and just one thing after another I knew I needed some kind of medical help but I felt like I wouldn't be able to qualify for medical and which I gotta say thanks to uh, my friend Renee she uh, kept pushing me like all year to go get medical and I just kept telling her oh, I want to I want to get approved I you know I make too much da -da -da. well finally I gave them all my numbers and they said I qualify for it so I'm gonna take full advantage of it because I felt like I made too much to qualify but I didn't make enough to get my own medical and I really need it bad and this is gonna put me in the right direction and I went and seen my doctor and she scheduled me with some specialists so I got a cardiologist I'm gonna go to I, I saw the knee doctor uh, which I'll get at in a little bit and then uh, I'm trying to get everything back in order uh, losing weight and oh I got a nutritionist that I'm gonna go see uh, possible weight loss surgery I'm not positive I'm gonna keep following up on that and then uh, you know the other thing is I'm trying to change my diet it, you know it'd be I almost feel like it's you know people say how addictive crack cocaine and meth and cigarettes and all these other things are I, I don't do any of those I've never done uh, any of them but if it's anything like this food addiction it's just insane it, it's kind of something that dominates my life and because of that now I, I am unable to move as easily it's hard to get out of bed hard to pretty much do any kind of daily activity and then it's also hindering me from making decent money uh, let's 
see here. So when I went to the knee doctor, he basically told me, you know, I uh, really need you to get to 40% before I could even consider surgery on you. And I wouldn't recommend surgery because you're too young to have knee surgery. And I agree with that. Uh, he said that I have very little cartilage in between my knee and that it looks like a knee of a 65 year old man and that's probably why it's hurting and basically that was that you know sent me out the door and uh, I'd, uh, but the weight he said I'd have to get to is like 290 and I was at 456 at the time um, however I saw my regular doctor on October 5th and that was 472 and I saw the knee doctor on October 14th and like I said it was 456 well now I get to try to do this all over again I my mom's been talking to me and she says I haven't seen a video I want to see a video again I know it's kind of a boring video and <laughs> I will congratulate you if you get this far into it. Uh, I'm just trying to document uh, my progress and see how I'm doing. I'm going to have some other videos out on my uh, channel. And the reason why I did this bar scene is to kind of con kind of show where I quit drinking. You know, I can go to a bar now and just drink water, or not drink any alcohol. Um, and again, it's not that I'm downing people that do drink because obviously I drink enough and it is fun. Uh, sometimes you get them hangovers, but I did have a good time. Uh, however, with the good time, I'm unable to, you know, complete a lot of goals that I have for myself and I want to get back on my goals and get life back on the roll. Uh, as far as eating, I still haven't been eating the greatest. I've been going on and off where I'll do a little bit good, a little bit bad, a little bit good, a little bit bad. So I'm open for suggestions. I feel like uh, a big one would be cooking all my meals at home. Uh, maybe going to the grocery store and getting exactly what I need for that day. Or maybe getting a couple meals where I have two or three days worth. Um definitely open for suggestions I'd also thought about maybe ordering from Walmart or maybe go to Aldi's or whatever it is and try to figure out something a little bit better anyway I got another shout out to uh, Jeffrey Ball Balthorpe he was in one of the weight loss groups that I follow and he'd done some tremendous things and he gave me some encouraging words to get going on my video again and I also have a shout out to my mom again Terry Reed for getting me back on the ball and you know she's up behind me 100% and she's starting her keto diet and getting that going uh, straight and she was also the one that was able to get me that membership initially so I definitely want to go back to the gym I'm just trying to get myself sorted out and get my body ready and just get back at it because that's the problem when you have like uh, ailments it's like a catch-22 you know if I try to go at it too hard then I injure myself worse um, but if you don't go at it at all then you don't really get better so I feel like the best course of action right now is light exercise and that's where I'm walking regularly from here to there you know uh, make sure I'm always going somewhere at least a little bit every day and the main thing I'll focus on is eating better um, one of the best things I figure I could do is your body if you're you know when I eat junk food I just feel like I need to eat more and more and more and more and I feel like that's your body's way of telling you, look, man, you, you got to get some nutrients in there. You didn't give me any nutrients. I could do so much more for you if you get the right nutrients. So 
if I give my body the nutrients, I feel like it's not going to tell me to get more and more and more. So I'm, I'm going to switch to a more of a vegetables and fruits and, you know, some proteins and go from there. That way I feel like I'll, I'll be giving my body what it really wants and deserves and needs and we can start this healing process. Um, hopefully eventually get off all the medication and really be on the right path. Well, thanks for listening. Goodbye.